Sweden's capital, Stockholm, becomes a city of lights in the weeks before Christmas. There are lights everywhere at City Hall, the Opera, and in window displays at the Royal Palace. Gamla Stan, the capital's old town, is also brightly decorated. The oldest Christmas market in the city is located on Stortoyet, a small square in the old town. Christmas ornaments have been sold at the red stalls here for more than 100 years. The buildings around it is really cool. So. It's very, it's very um, Christmassy here. There's no snow, but it's very beautiful. I thought it's very cold, which it is. So that's why we're near the uh, Glöck. Glöck is Sweden's take on mulled wine. It includes cinnamon, raisins and almonds. The non-alcoholic version is also very popular at Christmas markets. Polka Gris are typical Swedish peppermint candy canes. A baker from the village of Grenna called Amelia Eriksson invented them in 1859. Today, they are still made according to her recipe and by hand, just like back then. The red and white candy tastes exactly the same, but the color combo makes for a festive treat. Just one island away from the old city is the Swedish Center for Architecture and Design. It's the site of an annual gingerbread house competition. This year is the 25th edition, and the theme is innovative ideas for living. Quite a few masterpieces of gingerbread architecture are on display. For the more spectacular ones, this year there is, uh, for example, one which is like an aquarium where they have made the glass from some form of glucose. And they told me they experimented for days to get this correct, transparent and everything. The Yule goat, or Yulbok in Swedish, is a very important Christmas ornament here. Christina Zundberg's family has been making them for generations. She uses rye to make her goats because the grass can grow quite high and it's very robust. Right now in Advent, she's really busy. The Yule Bog has a tradition from, from the Christmas play where, where people go around villages and, and ask for money and one is dressed in a goat mask. And we also have the god Thor. His, his wagon is driven by goats. St. Lucia's Day is celebrated in churches all over Sweden on December 13th. Every year the choir of the Sofia Church in Stockholm puts on a concert to mark the holiday. Lucia was a young girl said to have been martyred for her faith at the start of the 4th century. She was Italian, but she's especially revered in Sweden. I think it has to do with the darkness in Sweden at this time of year. Uh, the light is a very important symbol. It's a symbol for life. It's a symbol for hope and uh, good deeds. And that was exactly what uh, Lucia, the original saint, did uh, in her time. Ferry rides around the Stockholm archipelago are also very popular in the Christmas season. On the island of Fjederholmana, visitors can enjoy a traditional feast prepared by Henrik Karlsson, chef at the Fjederholmanas Kolk restaurant. The Christmas smorgasbord is known as the Yulbord. Salmon and herring dishes, as well as ham, are a must. Every Swedish family uh, create their own Christmas table for Christmas Eve, when they uh, celebrate with their families. And uh, they usually have maybe 15 or 20 different kinds of dishes. Uh, we have uh, 150. Yulbord feasts are laid out three times a day at the Fjeder Holmanas Krok. It's a festive and delicious way to get into the Christmas spirit.